Um, next level is Mountain Play 2. Is this. Oh, it's Slippery Level. I don't remember the music this level plays. In fact, I don't think I even know what music it plays. It got Fire Lizards and Slippery Floor. And I just died. Did you replace the coins with the Marble Tree coins? Sure, look. No, it's normal coins. But they look a lot like them. Uh, did it? Oh shit. I hit the small ones, they turn around. And walk fast. The big ones are easy to kill, just too young. If you try to jump on the small ones, they most likely fire, fire in your ass, which is annoying and hard to dodge. I'm not taking those coins. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, that was awesome. Luck for the win. Let's see. I'm doing surprisingly well, I was about to say. Um, I'm not really the best player. I've been playing Hex for a while, but most of them are way too hard for a sane person to play. Seriously, I'm not kidding. And, fuck. A lot of hacking communities really think hard hacks are good. They stink, if you ask me, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Seriously, you shouldn't make a hack harder than the original game. At least not much. Around the same level is good. A bit harder is good if you aim for fans of the game, but you shouldn't really do it too hard. Not only will that take people off, it will make it less appealing even to players who like the original game. Which is a problem, because players who don't like the original game don't like your hack, then they will most likely not play it. <sighs> a good example of this is the supermajority hacking community, quote quote. Not to be mean, but that's just what I think about it. If I can manage to beat this slippery level, I will show you the most awesome level in the hack. I didn't have any problem beating this level yesterday when I first played the hack. Yeah, it's not really a super big hack, it's just level edit. Oh, I didn't have that. And that's the end of the level. And of course I take it. <sighs> Bit cold, sorry. <laughs> and uh, the most awesome level hack, Dizzy Heights. I like the music. Yeah, it's Metroid music. Oh, in case you don't know, follow the update, um, Super Mario World Hacking got music program tool that insert you it doesn't insert SM files, it insert it converts text file to hex and inserts it for you. It's called add music. It's extremely easy to use and extremely awesome for music hackers. You basically only need to make a text file instead of the nor instead of a uh, SM file assembly file for those who don't get the short thing. Uh, and yeah, the sound from the awesome music of this level it lacks. Uh, the midway point is actually kind of good place, but the level definitely need a power up at the beginning of it. I died quite a few times on it, and I even got the game over. Ah. 
Other than that, it's actually got better Metroid gameplay this level. So it's like got better Metroid gameplay than most Super Metroid hacks. Which is kinda scary. Can you cheat? Oh, you can cheat. I can't get that. I think I brought that springboard to the end last time. Whoosh. I think I missed the midway point. Did I miss the midway point? Like I said, this level got a lot of Metroid like gameplay. Except the ladders. Metroid games don't get ladders, but whatever. It got space jumps instead. Um. And Epic Exit. It's actually more like an uh, end of a new Super Mario Bros. level. Except there would be one more here, right above where I jump now, so you can get at the highest top of it, of the goalpost. <sighs> 20 points. I need at least 19 points at the next level to get a bonus stage. And I think we need it, the ghost house is pain. The ghost house is the end. last level by the way. Hot head cave. Oh shit, it's lava. And a top. Shoop, shoop. This level is awesome in its how it works. It's lava chasing you. It's really um, something you don't see too often and I like original ideas. But if everyone starts using this idea, it won't be original anymore. I made that yesterday. Uh, so yeah. Bombs here are kind of good, weird placement of enemies, but they're good for what they do. I think best you use the castle enemy set to get the hot heads and stuff. Yeah, you don't use the springboard there; you bring it with you because you can get this extra life then. And I only had one life, so I need a little extra life. Die. These are throwable blocks, in case you didn't notice. Can you kill Tom? No, I can't do it. This part's good. You have to wait, jump, wait, jump. However, it's hard to be big Mario on this one. I don't think you, act you can actually make them big Mario. On the other hand, there aren't any power ups in this part of the level. Gasps on the climax. Um, next part here is more lava caverns. More lava caverns. Don't slide down that, you will die. No pun intended, but you will, because you increase speed and fall into lava. And I thought it was a church and shock there. This change the skull fair. it shakes a lot and on one point you move back and forth and it's really annoying. Eh? Otherwise this part of the level is actually a great idea. I like lava rides. They are puzzle like, you have to think what to do, you see you have a short time to think of all the obstacles. But still enough time to figure out what to do. And it always moves to new stuff from time to time. That's like what to do with the background. It's great use of palette, the foreground, and the background, and the lava mix up extremely well. Oh crap, I didn't get an extra lives. <laughs> I'm not much of a goal post jumper, whatever. Now, last level, King Boo's Mansion. Doesn't look like King Boo, but whatever. King Boo has stolen ourselves, so what will we do? Like I care. 
Where the hell did he go here anyway? Oh, right. According to the story, Mo Mario went here because he saw the ghost house on top of the crater or something and thought it was weird or whatever. So he went up to find a. What the hell was up with it? Haha! Uh -huh. Does the jump up to extra life? However, I do this. It's easier. You think that stairs goes behind that, but it really the only thing that's seeable is walk able. This guy is annoying. Eesh. Oh shit. Too bad. Good thing I'm small. And good thing about springs I can get big. I don't think you you can actually get up somewhere here, but I didn't really check everywhere. 